Now on to layering. A really powerful feature of Groove Agent 5 is the fact that we can really layer samples to build up our own custom drum kits. Really powerful tool in any genre of music. Layering is really, really important nowadays. So Groove Agent 5 it, it excels at that. Blank Groove Agent 5 in Cubase 10, we've got it open. There's nothing on the pads whatsoever. Let's show you how you can actually layer the samples to build up your own fat drum kit. So I'm in Media Bay. I've searched for a kick and I can audition kicks now. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna drag and drop. Now, as we talked about earlier, this is where the dialogues become really important. When I drag it to a pad, I can see three dialogues. I can see a plus, I can see a right arrow, and I can see three blocks. Now this is really key to remember. The plus sign means that then I can add it to a pad. So I can keep stacking the pad multiple times with the plus icon. The second icon to the right, that means that I can then swap the pad over with what's currently on the pad. The third one is chromatic. So I could have, for instance, a bunch of snares and then drag them to that pad and they will chromatically map up the keypads or the keyboard or whatever MIDI controller you're using. So there's nothing on there at all at the moment, so it's irrelevant. But to show you what the dialogues mean, they will come in handy to remember later on. So there's our kick, you can see there, in view. And of course, another quick tip is there, if you can click the MIDI follow icon at the top, you can actually follow what's on the pad and where and see it in view. It can come in handy a lot later on. So there's our kick. I'm not gonna lay the kick, I'm just gonna lay the snares. So we're gonna find a snare and we're gonna lay the snares. So in our media bay, you can see multiple samples. So we have our snare, drag it to the pad, drag and drop, and there's our snare. Now the real powerful thing about Groove Agent is now I can keep adding and keep layering and keep boosting and boosting and boosting. So let's pick another snare. So let's look at a trap snare. So I really like that one. This is where the real power of Groove Agent 5 comes in. Again, I can hold the sample, I can come to the pad. Now, I don't want to swap the pad and replace it with the right arrow, I want to add upon it. So I'm gonna pick the first dialogue and then I'm gonna add that to the pad. So now I have two snares on one pad and I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna pick another trap snare. Okay, we've got a nice kind of time stretched, low pitched one there. And again, back to the same pad. Plus dialogue. Now there's three samples on one pad. Layering, this is really, really powerful now for any genre of music. So the default mode is velocity mode. So that means that the quieter I press the keys, the lower the samples come in. They're actually stacked concurrently through the velocity key range. So the harder I press the keys, the later samples that are laid will come in the velocity range. As you add more samples, they stretch across the key range. And of course it's customizable where they actually hit. So for instance. Yep. Now that's really cool for doing crescendo like drum rolls and maybe even sort of sound design kind of sweeps and stuff like that. But for, for what we're doing, we're gonna stack the samples to get a bigger sample. So if you look here in the main mode and I drop the tag down, so as you can see our three snares, we've got our hip hop snare, we've got our trap snare one, and we've got our trap snare eight. They're set on velocity. As you can see, they get the drum rolls with the velocity that we press on the keys. Now in the mode underneath that, in main mode, you can see there's loads of different types of layering here. So velocity layering is a default, but what is layer mode? Layer mode means it's gonna stack all them samples together. You also have round robin mode. So round robin mode means that it's gonna go from right to left in a circle. Really cool trick for the whole hip hop days where you could play one drum beat on one pad. So you can have a kick, snare, hi-hat, kick, snare, hi-hat, and just have one pad doing that same thing. Uh, random means it's gonna play any random sample at any random time with some repetition. Random exclusive mode means it's gonna do random, but there's gonna be no repetitions. So it's up to you what you want to choose. You might want to do that for maybe some sort of cool, funky effect where it's not picking out the same sample and it's each time you press a pad, it's doing a random feature. It could be loads of effects sounds or lasers or sweeps and it's constantly changing. Really good for sort of random sort of, you know, glitch kind of music or something. So we're gonna pick layer mode. We want it to be stacked tightly. So now layer mode has stacked these three samples together. So now we get a really, really, really fat snare. Really fat, so this is limitless again because I can keep stacking and stacking and stacking and also I can keep editing the samples as well so you don't have to have them set as they are, stacked as they are. I can choose to you know, start an end point and just choose to one part of the snare and really start to tweak it and tighten it and really start to delve into the powerful features of Groove Agent. And I can also choose the select mode. 
So if you see here in the right hand side, we've got select mode, which then means I can edit just the selected sample. So I can say, okay, <coughs> trap snare eight, I want to add a filter to that. So let's do what we did before. We're gonna go to the bit reduction. Now I'm only affecting trap snare eight, and I'm gonna just distort that sample whilst leaving hip hop snare six and trap snare one, like this. So I have my three snares stacked and the real powerful feature thing now about Groove Agent is I can then individually process and change each sample within the stacked layer. Really, really cool feature. If I go here to the right, it says edit, select samples or pads. I click on that. Now the selected sample, which will be Trap Snare 8, can be the only affected sample within that stack. So what I will do is I'm gonna add a filter now. I'm gonna add some sort of bit reduction. So now whatever I process here, only affects the selected sample, which is Trap Snare 8, leaving Trap Snare 1, leaving uh, Hip Hop Snare 6. So I'm only affecting one part of it. This is really cool for building up sort of, you know, the fattest snares you can imagine. You know, you can still have the body of the snare, the mid of the snare, and then some sort of distortion on one part of the snares. So let's do that. So <laughs> stack snares, I'm gonna select just the Trap Snare 8. I'm gonna add some bit reduction, distortion, and you can hear what that does. So now I've still got the body of the snare. I've not degraded it too much because there's still three snares on there. So I've got the fatness and I've got some kind of lo-fi kind of flavor to it as well, like this. Really cool. So I can build it up through the whole 16 pads and I can get my own custom fat drum kit. So that's layering. It's a really powerful tool. Groove Agent 5. And obviously the options are up to you how you make your own drum kits. But for snares and for layering sounds and for sound design, the layering is huge.